Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is Jace again, I'm back to continue with more content. We have been sharing about how people can come to Canada and are different pathways. In case you have not watched uh, my previous videos, you need to go and watch so that you don't hang. When we are talking about uh, terminologies that the Canada Immigration uh, Department uses, you will not, um, you know, you'll not, uh, you'll not wonder uh, what we are talking about. So you'll be part of that, part of us in that. So I encourage you that you go through my other videos. Just click the playlist under my channel. You just click uh, the playlist, which is uh, Joyce K Canada or Joyce K Nurse, and then. It's going to lead you to all the videos that you you can choose the one that you want to watch or you can just watch all of them uh, all my videos are important all of them are important so in case you want to catch up with us you will need to watch all my videos they are not many you can just create time and do that so I promise you that today I am coming to share the website for New Brunswick it's right here as you can see Every province has got its own website and the website appearance uh, look different from each other. This one is New Brunswick. In case you want us to open a new site from Google, you just come here and click New Brunswick Provisional Nomination Program uh, right there. And uh, always make sure that anything that you're searching is under .ca, Canada .ca, and then it's going to lead you to the either the province or the IRCC, which is for the federal government. So New Brunswick is right here. Most of the times you're going to find that whatever you click is on the first on the first uh, uh, opening. So we just click right there, and this is the the website this is how it looks so and uh, actually I, I typed uh, uh, how I searched this is that I typed New Brunswick upcoming um, employment or upcoming employment in events uh, yeah this is upcoming international recruitment events under New Brunswick that's what we typed I'm not going back there and under that you can say you can come here and study more about new brunswick then immigration programs that it has uh french speaking immigrants business immigrants international student settlement services every province every province has got its its own settlement services and some of them you will be required to pay for them to find you a house and to show you around employers and all that so uh let us check the immigration programs that is what we are interested in and once you click that is going to bring you into this page so you can see are you a PR, are you pr ready are you permanent resident ready using a recruiter or consultant you can click here uh new brunswick skilled work stream this is the one that we are interested in today new brunswick express entry stream express entry is the one for the federal government but remember the federal government will depend on the provinces federal government is the pool the main pool so every province will go to the main pool to to pick its uh immigrants so this one is for new brunswick then this is new brunswick business uh, immigration stream and then new brunswick strategic initiative stream for french speaking immigrants i told you that canada has got so many programs uh, New Brunswick Atlantic Immigration Pilot for New Brunswick Employers. Atlantic Immigration Pilot we have covered. We did the four provinces that are under Atlantic and New Brunswick is one of them. So I told you even if I was to talk about immigration in Canada for the next two years, I would always have, a co I have content for, you know, daily content. Just talking about immigration, there is too much that we need to cover. But we will be checking what is priority for now. Uh, like this one, it has a deadline. That is why I thought we need to cover this before we move ahead. And you come here to quick links. Just come here to quick links and click all this. Study all this. Anything I always tell you that anything which is clickable, 
make sure that you click uh, New Brunswick portal. This is a portal. This portal, you are supposed to open it. Let's see. The portal is where you just come here and register. In, you, in case you have already registered, you just put your email and your password and then you go straight there. And then there, if you have not registered, you just come here and register. Click register. It's free of charge. Register and have a, have a, have a page with them. Yeah, register. <laughs> the, the only thing that you need to be very careful about is that when you register some of these, uh, some of these programs, and then you want to come here as a visitor, and then after a visitor, you want to do, you know, other things that um, you may want to do. They are going to see that you once tried express entry, or you once tried the province, or you once tried whatever you tried. So they are going to see, and of course they are going to ask. In case you want to use the Panja route, they will always check in the system and see, has this person ever tried coming to Canada? In case they go on the on the on the website and see this person had tried to come and he she was denied or she didn't qualify then i know somebody who was returned at the panya route because they look at the system and they see ah this person always wanted to come he, he doesn't have a genuine reason for wanting to use the panya route so he was returned <laughs> so let us go back to our main thing so that that one is the portal then the second thing uh, the second link is the service new brunswick uh medicare driver's license just click i'm not going to click all of them looking for a job click okay in case you're looking for a job you just come here and and type whatever you want you type whatever job you want and then the city where you want that job Remember, New Brunswick is big, just like Ontario. Just like the way Ontario has got small cities, New Brunswick also has small, small cities and then search. This is the easiest way for you to search a job in, in the provinces. You're lucky that New Brunswick has got uh, job, job offers under its, uh, its website. Some provinces, some, some cities, like we have seen before, like Sudbury does not post its jobs in their website. But we have seen others also like Timmins and the others. They always they have they have uh, a, a, a job a job a job bank for for their community. We are not going to search jobs about jobs. We have talked over and over again, and you can always go there and search. Then uh, what else have we not checked? We have checked everything. Okay, so under skilled worker stream. This one you may need to check. Skilled worker stream. This one, this one is very good because it accommodates even even the NOCC and D, and those ones are for the people who are, who do not have a higher education after after secondary school. The the trades, eh? and even if they have they have they have short certificates for maybe technical colleges. Check under this. Study more. May, we might have to do a video on this. But today we are interested in uh, something else. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, Multicultural Council of New Brunswick. Go ahead. Foreign Qualification, IRCC, Processing Times, and Service Canada. Our interest is right here on Foreign Qualification Recognition. Okay. You just click there. Yeah, and then it's going to take you back to to the same, same, same sites. You can go through all these which are 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 uh, clickable. Regulated occupation. I always keep telling you about regulated occupations. The nurses, the teachers, the lawyers. Click it to find out if your job is regulated. If your job is regulated, then you will need to get a license before you start looking for a job. There's no way a nurse is going to find a job as a nurse in Canada before they get a license. There is no way a lawyer is going to search for jobs without them having a license first. There is no way a teacher is going to find a job in Canada as a foreigner without you having a license. Not even as a foreigner. Even if you're here in Canada, nobody is going to give you a job if you have not have applied for your license. And some of these regulated occupations like nursing, they insist that you have to to be a permanent resident or a 
a Canadian citizen. So you have to first of all use the express entry first so that the express entry gives you the permanent resident and then after getting the permanent resident now you can apply to 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 get your license. But you cannot start the other way around that you can start looking for job. No, 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 no. You have first of all to go through express entry to have your Canadian uh, permanent resident or citizenship. Then now you go ahead and and apply for 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 the license. Some of them are very strict, like the nursing, the doctors. And nobody is going to give you. Uh, nobody is going to give you jobs. So uh, jo here, check all this: accounting related occupations, engineering, health related, land use, legal, additional occupations, job bank for newly arrived job seekers. Huh? All these. Atlantic Immigrant Career Loan Fund. Hmm? Check all these. Hmm? Check all these. Let us go back to our interest for today. Yeah? Where were we? Sometimes I talk too much and then I, I fail to... Oh, changes to transportation eligibility, 751. Oh, you need to click here and see what changes are there. This is the NOC that we were talking about. This, these are, there are changes here. This one, they have just, they have just posted. It was not there before. Just check and see the, the new, I'll check it later. Mm-hmm. This is how to apply, how to apply, it looks like all the other provinces, how to apply will always look like all the other provinces, yeah, you see, uh, it, it says that you register on the portal, you open a portal, you complete uh, your profile uh, information, accept the terms and conditions, uh, Select I want to work in New Brunswick, then uh, New Brunswick skilled worker and click the button labeled Start my expression of interest Then select your New Brunswick connection Then complete the screening questions related to admissibility Language education work experience and adaptability calculate your score Remember, New Brunswick does its score. I had said that in my previous video. Validate and submit your expression of interest. First of all, you have to, 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 send, to, to express that you're interested in settling in New Brunswick. And then after that, they're going to, to send you an um, uh, invitation to apply, ITA. And then when you apply, uh, when you get your uh, in, in invitation to apply, then you can go ahead and proceed to to the new Brunswick skilled worker application process. There are just very few, one, two, three. Three steps, three steps. It's very easy, but it's always important to check on all those. Where were we guys? Where were we? We have to keep going back. Oh yeah, immigration programs is right here. Yeah, so let us check the skilled worker stream. There's too much on these websites. <laughs> Oh no, where are we guys? Huh. We might need to open a new a new tab. Hmm? 
it's right here immigration and settlement in new brunswick we wanted to see the upcoming international uh, recruitment events this is our interest today and it's right here please note that there is no connection to new brunswick for the purposes of new brunswick express entry stream that policy was ended in 2018 click here to understand more this is what i was telling you guys these ones are new these ones are new uh new posts from new brunswick on may 2021 new brunswick uh, uh advertised these these ones uh for for jobs for sawmill machine oh sawmill machine operators uh in for the ukraine ukraine government and another one for seafood plant workers and laborers in from mexico Wilson, can you get me uh, my charger for HP? Run, run. <laughs> Sorry for that, guys. My charger is going down and I don't want to delete this video. There is no way I can pause on, on when I'm using this stream. So get me my charger in my bedroom. Run. Yeah, so... Yeah, New Brunswick virtual recruitment. That one is for Mexico. Ours is here for spring. The one I was telling you that they are doing online recruitment in spring. They are going to give to do interviews on Skype. So you have to you need to have a laptop in case you're interested in this. I don't know if you can be able to do with your phone. I think some phones can do it. So it is a uh, transport truck drivers is right here. This is our interest. This one. So you need to come here and sign up okay do it very urgently even if you 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 are not sure whether you want it by september because it's 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 for spring it's actually for spring 2021 oh you need to click here guys mm, you need to click here it's for the truck drivers noc75 one one for the truck drivers join us and register before 11th june oh my goodness these guys changed i had seen by fall september but now they are saying it is to register before june 11th 2021 to attend a virtual information session and meet with new brunswick employers hiring today guys this one is this one i don't know what you're going to do you need to run, run, run and register this one. New Brunswick companies are recruiting directly for long-term employment immigration program officers. Uh, okay, for employment, I didn't put a full stop. Immigration program officers will provide a virtual information session on New Brunswick provision immigration program. These programs are only for individuals intending to reside in New Brunswick. You have to, to show intention to... I ask them to give you. So you, you have to prove that you're going to reside there. The professionals eligible for this event must have recent experience in the following occupations. Recent means within the past five years. If you have been a truck driver within the past five years, guys, here you go. Join us and register before June 21st to attend a virtual information session and meet with New Brunswick employers. Mm -hmm. This this is where they are going to ask you those questions I was telling you that you need to go on YouTube and study. Just register and then you go to go look for a technical institution in your country and go study. This is a very short course. I'm sh very sure you can you can learn it very fast so that when you're preparing for this interview, at least you'll be knowing some of these things. But also remember you need to have experience on the road. You cannot just come and you, you have never done driving in your life especially for the truck, truck trailers. Connect me right here. So, just put the charger. Yeah, so go ahead, go ahead and, and practice so that you, you pass the interviews. Thank you. NOC 751, join us and register before june 11th 2021 to attend i think this one is going to be my headline 
you have to register before June 11th so that we make it very urgent. Hmm? Uh, go ahead and study this more. They have said you need to have experience for, for 1,560 hours. Hmm? It could either be volunteer, volunteer work or unpaid internships. Oh, sorry, no. It should be paid work. It should be paid work. So they might want uh, you to provide uh, pay tabs for your previous employer. They do not want volunteer work or unpaid internships. Those ones you, they will not accept. Hmm? There are four pages in the registration form. You click and then you go ahead and before you begin, you'll need to have uh, uh, PDF copies of the following documents organized and ready for upload. The photo page of your current passport, you need to have a passport, visa for your current country of legal residence, required if, you, if your current country of legal residence is not your country of citizenship. Oh, no. This one ignore, but you, you need to understand. In case somebody from Uganda has come to Kenya, you need a document from your home country. Your language test results. Oh, guys, I keep telling you to do your language test. I don't know if you'll have done your language test by June. Wow, your ECA report. This is your, um, this is your WES, your WES report and your CV. CV is optional, but I think it's important to have it. Your spouse's CV is also optional, but it is also good to have it because remember they want to see whether your spouse will also find a job in the same province. Current driver's license. Oh my goodness. This, these requirements are very... <laughs> they are very minimal, guys. I mean, uh, just a passport and a report by WES and your CV. Hmm? And your IELTS. I keep telling you to do these things and you don't do them. Just that, imagine. Then you come here, put your first name, last name, email, and then you go ahead and download. Download your documents right here. You can see here, download as PDF. Make sure they are in PDF. You can go into cyber if you don't. This application is so easy. Then I agree. If I were you, I would just apply. But if you don't have all the documents, they're not going to, you're just going to give them work for nothing. If you don't have the IELTS and the WES report, ECA report, they're not going to pick on you. There is no way they're going to take, because they have stated, Canada, when Canadians tells you they, they want it, they want it. There is no shortcut into that. Oh no. Guys, if you have them, I know there are people who have them. Go ahead and apply and I wish you success. 11th june when is today guys today is 20th today is 20th may so we have less than uh, we actually have 10 days in in may and another 10 days in uh, in june so we have 20 days to do this run 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 let us know how we can help you let us know how we can help you you can get the report for, if, if you have the IELTS and you don't have the report for WES, the report for WES comes in seven days. It's very fast. You just need to upload if it is your secondary education uh, certificate, just upload it immediately. And then by, by next week, you'll have your report. I know a friend who got it within a week, but they always say within two weeks. But with, in seven days, you can get your report for WES. I don't want you guys to miss. I'm feeling like I'm the one. I'm feeling like I'm the one. Oh, this one is so good. I love New Brunswick because it's giving us shortcuts. You know, the way it is very hard to find these things. I mean, somebody who's going to recruit you online and the way Canada immigration is difficult. This one is just interesting, guys. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Let us not give ourselves pressure. More opportunities are coming. Go ahead and apply and let me know how it is going. Let us give us updates and then we will get this one. This one we have in our my team we have to have not less. I mean we we need not to have less than a thousand. I have how many subscribers? A thousand people should get these jobs. I, they have not said how many people they want. But let as many people apply. 
Thank you guys and take care. Bye bye.